there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are party prepping for Aubrey's fifth birthday. I'd like to thank Wern Sai for sponsoring today's video. They sent us almost all of the party supplies you will see in this video. So I will make sure to post the links to all of their products and their store down below in the description box for your convenience if you are looking to throw a unicorn or other themed party in the future. So in the past, I've split up my party prep videos into multiple parts because I usually do a lot. But this time, I still did a lot, but I thought I would put everything in one video, hence the super long video. Let me know down below in the comments which style you prefer. A longer video covering everything or individual videos that cover food, activities, and decorations. But let's go ahead and get into this video. We are starting off by wrapping some of the gifts that were inside sent for Aubrey. They sent her a super soft 100% polyester unicorn blanket that you will get to watch Aubrey open in a bit. In addition to the blanket, they provided a cute unicorn journal with a heart lock and key, some stickers, and a ballpoint pen. These all come together in one pack. Aubrey loves writing and drawing and keeping things away from Jack, so this lockable journal is perfect for her. I will be wrapping these gifts using Wernsai's pre-cut unicorn wrapping paper. I like how the sheets are large enough to wrap most boxes and how they are stored flat. In some ways, this paper is also a gift for Aubrey because she loves using wrapping paper to craft with. Left a star glowing in your eyes when I'm not away. You left a scar. I fall into your lies all again. Where'd you go? I also picked up these unicorn gifts from Dollar Tree. Duplicates of these will be awarded as prizes for some of the games that we will be playing at the party. A blanket! Oh, look at this. I love it! Open it! Open it! It looks like open it! It's a unicorn! Keep opening it. Yeah, what does it look like? Oh, wow! Let's move on to preparing the pinatas and goodie bags for the party. I picked up two large bags of candy from Costco, one fruity and the other chocolatey, with the intention that we would have more than enough left over to hand out at Halloween. That is, unless Juan discovers my stash and eats it all before October 31st. That is one of the perks of having Aubrey's party a few weeks before the holiday. The kids love taking turns hitting the larger pinata while blindfolded with the provided stick and these adorable mini pinatas that were handed out as prizes during the party. I filled the pinatas with candy that wasn't going to melt because I didn't know how hot it was going to be the day of the party or how long they would be outside. But to ensure the kids also got some chocolatey candy, I made sure to put a couple in their goodie bags, which were going to remain inside for most of the party. The Wernsai goodie bags did come with stickers to seal the bags, but I figured I would leave them open so the kids could put their pinata candy in their bags during the party. Take me higher, higher. Every little thing you do, 
Along with a few chocolate candies, the goodie bags were also filled with mythical creature cookies, some cute Wernsai unicorn notepads, and tattoos. The tattoos came with a variety of sheets, so I cut up one of the styles so every goodie bag had a few tattoos and set the other sheets out during the party so kids could have some fun. This seemed to be a pretty popular activity among our guests. Next up, we have our table activities. I purchased each of these books from Dollar Tree with the intention that guests at each table would have something to color if they desired. My favorite though is the unicorn sticker book. Each page has a faceless and hornless unicorn that looks pretty silly. In the book, there are two sheets of stickers for the user to add to the page to complete the unicorn. The nice thing about this table activity is that anything left unused will definitely be completed by Aubrey in the coming weeks. The next activity was Unicorn Bingo. This pack came with 24 unique bingo playing cards, player chips, and calling chips. One of the things that I liked most about this game was that every time a picture was called, the kids got to mark their own page. So there was never a time where a little kid didn't get to find the picture on their bingo sheet. That being said, you would not be able to play blackout bingo using this set because everyone would win all at once. We ended up playing until three people got bingos and the winners won the mini pinatas that we stuffed at the beginning of this video. So next up, we have some unicorn horn chalk that I picked up off of Amazon. I wanted to have an activity that the little kids could do throughout the party, and I loved how this chalk fit the theme. We ended up having tons left over. In my opinion, this wasn't a big deal since I know it will be used up eventually. Another activity that I wanted to have throughout the party was a little ring toss game. I figured I would pick up a two pack of orange cones from Dollar Tree and spray paint them to make them look like unicorn horns. Then using a woven wreath from Dollar Tree, the kids could go back and forth tossing the wreath trying to hook the horn. In theory, I think this was a good idea and I like how it fit the theme. But in reality, my guests didn't seem to play this game too much throughout the party and we probably just could have done without.
Next up, we have the Pin the Horn on the Unicorn game that Wern Sai sent us. The pack comes with the poster, hanging stickers, horn stickers, and a mask. I decided to hang the poster on our sliding glass door and ended up reinforcing it with some packing tape that peeled off easily and didn't end up damaging the poster. This packing tape was also necessary because it is very windy outside where we are. But I think if you wanted to hang your poster inside, the provided stickers should work perfectly. Now let's move on to looking at the decorations for the party. You may have noticed in the last segment, I had some clouds, rainbows, and shooting stars drawn on my sliding glass door, which I happen to be drawing now. That's because I've reordered my video clips based on their category rather than displaying them in chronological order. I think if I shared each clip in the order it occurred, everyone watching would have a major headache by the end of the video. That being said, almost all of the clips up to this point were filmed days before the party. I wanted to make sure that everything that could be done in advance was completed long before any of the last minute stuff had to get done. I do think it is important to keep in mind though that when party prepping, you're often going from one task to another and jumping back and forth and that's all normal. It's just not very fun to watch in a party prep video. Moving on, let's go ahead and check out the Wernsai Unicorn Party Kit. It came with forks, spoons, knives, large and small plates, cups, napkins, a table cover, some balloons, and a party banner. Instead of making an elaborate design on my glass board like I usually try to do, I decided to hang the provided banner in its spot. I regretfully used some clear Dollar Tree wall hooks to secure the banner to the wall. You will see why in my next video. After hanging the banner, I steamed it to remove a few of the wrinkles, which wasn't completely necessary, but again, I was doing this ahead of time and had a little bit of extra time. Something else I figured I could do days before the party was set up this cute cupcake stand from Wernsai. While I'm doing that, I'm also going to display the first third of an Amazon gift card code. The remaining portions of this gift card code will be unannounced and displayed at some point during the remaining portion of this video. I wish I could give one to all of my viewers as a way to show my appreciation for you, but I don't make nearly enough in ad money to do that. If you are the first person to claim this code, please don't be shy and let me know down below in the comments that you were the lucky viewer. Next up, we will be hanging these spiral decorations from Wernsai. There were four different colored spirals and seven cute images to attach to them. The kit also provided little plastic pieces to attach the images to the spirals, as well as the pieces to hang the spirals to the ceiling. Overall, everything was pretty easy to assemble. In the days leading up to the party, I hung a few of these throughout the house, kind of my normal hanging spots. And you will see later in the video that I hung the rest of them outside from our patio cover the morning of the party. I did this last minute because it can get pretty windy as I've mentioned before where we are, and I didn't want to waste my time putting them all up one day just for them to be blown down the next day. In the end, the strategy worked and I think the decorations look great. Yeah. 
times it hurts to admit that we're no different i find it hard to commit but you don't even try still i'm there moving on to the bathroom i thought i would just add some dollar tree decorations here to make the bathroom fit our theme aubrey picked out this pink unicorn for the shelf and i grabbed a sheet of the wall stickers to add to the mirror I noticed that they had some unicorn themed ones and I thought it would work perfectly. I love how this all turned out, but taking it down was much more difficult than I anticipated it would be, as you will see in my next video. I may just have to stick to chalk pens for my mirror in the future. Oh, so cute. I love it. <laughs> Next up, we are going to set up our treat table and balloon arch. I had to do this closer to the party for a few reasons. First, this is our kitchen table, which gets used every day and it's within the kids' reach, which means it's able to get messed up and I don't want that to happen before the party. So we are covering this table with the table cover that came from the party kit from Wern Sai, and I purchased some extra balloons for the balloon garland separately from Amazon. I decided to hang the balloons from the party pack from our ceiling to make the entire space feel even more festive. I blew up the balloons with my pump, no helium required, tied a ribbon to the knot of the balloon, placed a clear balloon sticker on top of the inflated balloon, and a piece of blue painter's tape on top of the sticker, sticky side up. Then I pushed the balloon onto the ceiling to create a floating balloon display. Using this method not only saves you from having to get helium, but also means that the balloons stay where you put them and don't float around, gather in one spot, or be hit by a fan. Moving on, we will be making some decorative signs for the outdoor activities. We had a lot of cardboard left over from when we got our new kitchen table. So I decided to cut that down and wrap it using some extra wrapping paper that we had. I printed signs for our unicorn horn ring toss game our chalk station, as well as a sign for our air jump. I thought it would be silly to say no horns allowed in the air jump. I don't know if anyone else appreciated it, but I did and that's kind of what counts.
I inserted some wooden skewers into the cardboard to create legs for the signs, and we'll be sticking these in our lawn later in the video. Although not filmed, I did also make a sign for the tattoo station, which you will see in a future clip. Okay, so we have made it to the food portion of this very long video. We are going to start by baking and assembling the cake and cupcakes for the party. I did this in advance since the cakes can be frozen and defrosted just in time for the party. Doing this early is a major time saver and helps keep me from getting too stressed out as the party draws near. Not to mention that keeps the cakes like really moist. For her party, Aubrey requested a unicorn chocolate cake with peanut butter frosting. I decided that in addition to her unicorn cake, I would also make chocolate cupcakes with vanilla frosting in case we had some guests that were just not in the mood for a strong peanut butter flavor. This decision ended up working out great and everyone really loved the cake that they chose. I also added some fudgy chocolate ganache to the cake and cupcakes as well. I will link videos that share these recipes up above and include the peanut butter frosting recipe in this video on the screen. So this is actually my second time making this peanut butter frosting, but first time for the channel. When Aubrey first told me that she wanted peanut butter frosting with chocolate cake, I knew I had to do a test run before making such a large batch for a party. I was very pleased that the first recipe I tried worked out perfectly. I made my extended family be my test subjects. I provided them with chocolate cake and peanut butter frosting, 
and then also provided them with some chocolate ganache, caramel, and peanuts on the side. I wasn't sure if I wanted this cake to taste more like a Reese's or a Snickers bar. In the end, the chocolate ganache won out. And even though Aubrey didn't ask for vanilla frosting, I needed to use it for the outermost layer of the cake for decorating purposes. So I just made a large batch of vanilla frosting and anything left over from decorating the cake was then going to be used for the cupcakes. Sometimes I'm selfish, get jealous I feel a little helpless My whole world has shifted again You made a promise, I kept it Now I'm second guessing My whole world has shifted again Now I drive back to an empty home And it's said Just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
As most of you know, I love trying new techniques whenever I make cakes. I know they have been around for a while, but this birthday party was really my first excuse to actually make a unicorn cake. I was nervous that the designs I was going to be piping on the sides of the cake would fall off, get smudged, or somewhat like melt down the sides. But I was happily surprised with the way this cake turned out. I had a lot of fun using different colors and piping tips to make the unicorn's mane on the cake. I could have attempted to make a unicorn horn and unicorn ears out of chocolate or fondant, but I had to find some way to save time. So I purchased a little kit that came with the cake topper along with some little eyelashes to finish off the look. I'll be putting these eyelashes on on the day of the party.
Moving on, we are going to be making some mini unicorn horns. I've seen a number of people use pretzel rods when making these, but in my opinion, a pretzel rod is a commitment. When I have made desserts in the past using pretzel rods, they are often overlooked at parties and no one really takes them because they are so large. So for this party, I decided to use mini pretzel sticks, soft caramels, and white melting chocolate to assemble these unicorn horns. I took some of the soft caramel and wrapped it around the pretzel stick in a spiral before dipping it in the melting chocolate. I was able to make around nine or 10 unicorn horns using just one soft caramel, once I got the hang of it at least. It took me pretty much all of Jack's nap time to get my first batch done, but I knew this wasn't going to be nearly enough for the day of the party. So later that evening, I made a second batch and added some edible gold glitter from Dollar Tree to spice up the look. This treat was so time consuming, but definitely worth it. They were the perfect size, they were very delicious and very much devoured by the end of the party. Next up, we are prepping our produce for a rainbow fruit display, which I will be assembling the day of the party. I bought and prepped these fruits the day before the party because I wanted to make sure they were as fresh as possible.
The last food item that I prepped the day before the party was actually the ice cream. This idea will actually be going down as a hack that I plan on using for every party going forward. I decided to scoop ice cream into cupcake liners and store them on a cookie sheet in the freezer. I've always hated how long it takes to serve ice cream at parties after singing happy birthday. I wanted to come up with a solution where everyone could have a cupcake and a scoop of ice cream immediately if they wanted. While this hack isn't necessary, it does speed things up the day of the party and frees someone else up from having to help out because I'm usually the one cutting the cake and therefore I need someone else to be scooping the ice cream. The only thing I might do differently in the future is just work with smaller cookie trays to avoid having the first couple scoops get a little bit melty. We now have made it to the day of the party and I am finally assembling the treat table and kitchen island before our guests arrive. You will see me rearranging a few things as I go in order to find the most ideal setup. So in the past, in order to save money, we have purchased one or two large bags of chips and poured them into bowls for people to enjoy throughout the party. However, we have noticed that there is usually a lot left over and it goes stale rather quickly because it has been out of the bag for an extended period of time. So for this party, we decided to splurge a little bit and get a variety pack of individual bags of chips from Costco. While a little bit more pricey, I think going this route was better overall people got to choose a flavor of chip that they preferred and whatever was left over will stay fresh for a much longer period of time. I had intended on making some meringue cookies for this party, but opted not to for my sanity. So instead, I decided to purchase some mythical creature cookies because they also fit the theme and I knew they were going to be just as delicious. Unfortunately, however, I ordered these off of Amazon and when they arrived at my house, everything was melted and clumped together and just really ugly. I knew ultimately people wouldn't care what they look like, but I cared about the presentation, so I decided to purchase some extra individual packs of Mythical Creature cookies from Walmart, which I knew would still look nice, and placed them on top of my bowl of ugly clumped cookies. In the end, these extra cookies weren't just decorative, they were also necessary because there was nothing left in this bowl at the end of the party.
So here you can see how I assembled my rainbow of fruit. If I had had more time and energy, I would have made a cute cream cheese and marshmallow fluff dip for the fruit and placed it at the bottom of the rainbow to resemble clouds. But again, for my sanity, I opted out of doing this. I did end up having to replenish a lot of the fruit throughout the party though, because this display doesn't really provide a lot of space for all of the fruits. But that really wasn't a big issue. We purchased all of these fruits from Costco, and it was my first time purchasing the pre-cut pineapple. I was very pleased with how yummy it was, and while it was a little bit pricey in my opinion, it did definitely save me a lot of time, and so for this party, it was worth it. It don't matter where we go It don't matter where we stay tonight Cause when I'm with you, yeah, I know Everything will be alright It don't matter what we say It don't matter how we make things right Cause when I'm with you, yeah, I know Everything will As we take a glance at the very cute thank you notes that Warren Sai sent us and we will be filling out, 
I would like to wrap up this video by thanking not only Wernsai for sponsoring today's video, but also you for watching this extremely long video and for supporting my channel. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and let me know if you are the lucky viewer to win that Amazon gift card. If you are new, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.